Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Your eyes do not fool you. It is the three amigos, which means it has to be Thursday. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing wicked good, Mike. Enjoying yeah. my new aerodynamic <laughs> situation. You're leaning into the wind, huh? I got it, I got you. And Dion, how are you? Howdy, doing great. Ready for round two? Awesome. So, hey, guys, I don't know if you listened to the Daily Financial News this morning, but I, this was something I wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't know if you've seen this, but the foreclosure numbers are off the charts. They are insane. They are crazy. Foreclosures in the third quarter are up 32%. They are actually up 67% year on year. Oh my God, the world is ending. I don't know what to do. I'm going to be in the poorhouse. This is craziness. Um, what do you guys think? And we'll go to Dion first. <laughs> well, I listened to your update this morning. So I know how the, <laughs> what the actual real numbers are. And it's amazing how, and I don't want to steal Matt's th thunder because you said this, it's amazing how much statistics can improve when you don't allow something for a year or two. Sure. Um, and with the foreclosure numbers, as they increase, these, these are almost special cases. Name a market in the United States that is not significantly, has not significantly appreciated in the last couple of months or years. Um, my, my net worth has changed by about $600,000 just because I owned some properties and that's not anything to do with cash flow or anything. So people that are being foreclosed on, they well, have see that, that's, we have to be very clear. These are foreclosure starts, which means the NOD has been filed. That that's another thing. And, and I'm sharing these details. I'm trying to be over the top crazy because I want people to realize what they're being fed in other channels. Right. A foreclosure start does not equal a foreclosure. In fact, the ratio is about 40%. Right. Once a start happens, it'll actually foreclose because there's lots of things that can happen in between. But uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, Dion. No, no, you're fine. I mean, you're right. That once it starts, so some people will catch up. Some people yeah. can refinance. And a, and a lot of people right now can sell. Sell, when, when the exactly. the bank says, you haven't been paying, you're not able to recover, this is not working. Why don't you sell it and take $50,000 and walk away? Yeah, walk away with a check. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. You lose your home, but you get some money. Okay. Got <laughs> I got you. How about you, Matt? What do you think? 67% year on year increase. Got to be a bubble. Got to be a bubble. I'm surprised it's not 167%. <laughs> when you're coming off a zero or like four, like yeah. imagine being one of the four people that got foreclosed on last year or foreclosed <laughs> on last year. Yeah. Like you're going to be like, this is so embarrassing. You know? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I get it, you know, and this, and this is, you know, we can count on three or four channels that are going to start showing triple digit numbers. Yeah. Stop what you're doing. Don't do it. Oh, it's a bubble. Geez. It started. Oh, don't do it. Yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah, it kind of is what it is. Talk to me when we're actually on the other side of that actually being foreclosed on. Yeah. Because I think in this particular case, you just cited the number. It's about 40% actually hit foreclosure. That's in a normal market. In a normal in a market. Normal exactly. We're not in a normal with market. With normal rules. We, they've proven that this none of those things apply, right? Yeah. So I, the good news is there's clearly somebody with a 3% mortgage. If you watch the first video, there's somebody who can put 3% down and buy this house. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's all mm -hmm. good. So there's a couple of things. I went back and did some research because I knew I was going to talk with you guys. So um, Dion, I guess you can't answer because you saw my video this morning. Matt. <laughs> Uh, didn't I didn't sound like you, awesome. So, it. do you know what an average, the average number over the last decade is for foreclosure starts in a month? The average number for foreclosure starts in a month. Over oh, I have no decade. idea. No the clue. answer is roughly 40,000. Okay. That's, and again, a foreclosure start does not equal a foreclosure. Sure. Normally speaking, foreclosure starts after two missed payments, right? Let's, sure. You know, all of those things, right? Normal times, not this whole. Yeah craziness we've been in for two years sure 67 percent increase year on year we are up to a whopping twenty five thousand two hundred and nine. yeah right we are yeah. not even back to a normal market of forty thousand. Forty 40 percent off the norms and exactly and we know that all of these since the eviction moratorium was lifted in a majority of the states <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <Pay attention. laughs> um since it was lifted largely nationally we know that that's largely the number right because yeah. you know that people aren't like let's just give them another 30 days no because no. they're on their dime yeah so no it's like, now it's the bank yeah file now make this minute yeah. they yeah. filed as soon as they could yeah so again we are still roughly speaking 40 percent under the norm 
a foreclosure start does not equal a foreclosure because most of these, most to Dion's point, point, it would have to be like a weird opportunity for you to be underwater. Yeah. Right. You would have had to buy it <laughs> above market mm -hmm. with, I don't, I mean, I can't even imagine who would not have appreciation in a year. You were next uh, to a chemical spill. Yeah, like, I, that's, I mean, that's, maybe, it, I mean, there could be things like it burned down. He didn't have insurance. Sure. I mean, some things, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's just nutty. So then again, these people are going to compare this 67% increase to the last crisis, which I've heard of lots of times. So again, I go back and pull up the numbers because I experienced it. Do you guys have a guess? This was not in my daily news. So Dion, you can take a guess. What was the average foreclosure starts in the year 2005? 2005, 2006. I have them both. For month. Month? Month. I would guess it was lower than the average for 2005, no? No, 2006 then, I'm sorry. So oh, the begin, okay. beginning of the crash. The beginning? I have no idea. 187,000. I was just going to say 200. Yeah, 200, you're 200K. 200, wow. 200K, I had to give it to you. Yeah, because we did, they had 2.2 million foreclosures right. started in 06 which was the largest year. Again, a foreclosure start does not equal a foreclosure. Foreclosures took 800 days in California. So you start in 06, you don't foreclose to 09. That's why 10 was the best year to buy. It's a whole process. But, but yeah, we're not anywhere close to these. Don't let anybody tell you these foreclosure numbers are like last time. It's not even in the same ball game. In, in 9, 10, and 11, I want to say it was just about 3 million homes a year were being foreclosed on. But in they nine, started- that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But 9, 10, and 11 is when they actually yes. happened. Exactly. 9, 10, and 11. So yeah. I, want to, I want to be as sensitive as possible because sure. if your property is foreclosed on, that sucks. That Something in your life has gone wrong and this is, this is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But as a buy and hold investor who has rentals, 3 million foreclosures would mean more rental, renters in a limited supply of rentals. And as we would see in 2010 and 11, rents would go up Again, speaking to, this is the time to buy. Be the person who owns the rental properties in a year or two years. If you know if the if the crystal ball was wrong, and there actually are hundreds of hundreds of thousands of foreclosures, yeah. that's the time to own rentals. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's just I just don't want people to get lost in percentages. Percentages when you come off small bases are very misleading. Again, 67% year on year sounds crazy, sounds scary. Yeah. It's exactly 25,209, which is 40% below the historical average of 40,000. And it is, see if I do this in my head, 153,000 less per month than the last crash. So don't let anybody tell you that this crash is like last crash because they're not. Don't let anybody tell you this month is worse than before. It's 40% below. Foreclosures have started. In fact, to, to Matt's point, I think we've seen an uptick in foreclosures because of all those that were kind of caught. Now yeah. you're seeing the, the like the people getting foreclosed on now probably have left the house. They've given up, yeah. right? They got divorced. They went that way. They, and the house is just sitting there vacant. That's, I mean, these things happen. Sure. Um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, I, and, and again, back to, our, I think Dion's point earlier, talking our book, I bought a lot of foreclosures and a lot of short sales. I, yes. I, I'm not opposed to buying them when I can. They make great rentals. They do. But, um, you know, California, I actually wrote down California. California started 3,434 foreclosures last quarter. 3,000. In a quarter month. In a, In a quarter. quarter. In a quarter. <laughs> That's just. And Texas was next at 2,827. Oh, that's, 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 it's not even. I've only, I didn't do the math, but I should be shocked if that's a tenth of a percent of, of units sold. So yeah, uh, it's a big nothing burger. So Matt, how can people find you? Uh, Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and 11.30 a.m. Eastern time this Sunday after Mike's One Rental at a Time daily financial news. We will be there for three hours, probably talking about awesome real estate stuff. There you go. And Dion, yourself? Awesome. Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. And you will be doing a live sometime during the week in the next month or so? Uh, what is today? What day is today? Today's Thursday? 14th. Yeah. In the next week? I will, I will do one next 
Wednesday. No, yes, no. we got oh, a commitment. Oh, oh, oh. Tuesday evening. Tuesday. Oh, evening, Tuesday. Actually. Tuesday. Evening. Tuesday. So that would be the nineteenth. There you go. And it's six p.m. Pacific. Eight p.m. I don't know. I'm just uh, why last guess. Seven p.m. Pacific. Seven p.m. Pacific next Tuesday. Dion goes live. Dion after dark. 10 p.m. on the East Coast, baby. I'll have my popcorn and my soda ready. Let's go. Yeah. (laughs) All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks.